Have you ever asked yourself something as simple as where did gold come from? There's no process by which gold can form in the earth. And science has been trying to figure out how this happened. Their theory that in the furnace of supernovas, when stars explode or neutron star mergers, the heavy elements are formed. And then these elements are ejected out into the universe, made their way over here to our solar system and bingo bongo ends up in the earth. This is their best theory. Yeah but there's a problem. It doesn't work. Check this out. Our best idea for the origin of gold doesn't add up. In 2017, we detected gold being forged in a neutron star neutron star merger. Well, Dave, we did it again. <laughs> Astronomers have thought for a long time that the collisions of these neutron stars produce heavy elements, and there's been hints of that uh, in, uh, in other astronomical observations. But this result provides definitive evidence for first time that elements such as platinum, gold, uh, uranium are actually produced in these collisions. This is my great-grandfather's uh, gold watch. It's about 100 years old. The gold in this watch was very likely produced in the collision of two neutron stars approximately billions of years ago. We don't know exactly when. This one neutron star merger occurring in a galaxy over 130 million light years away had seemed to provide the answer. But then a funny thing happened over the next seven years bringing us to the present day. Only one other neutron star neutron star merger has ever been detected. And unlike the first event, it did not produce a kilonova or create any heavy elements. This has taught us something remarkable and important. Our initial estimate that around 100% of the heaviest elements in the universe was produced from neutron star neutron star mergers is no longer consistent with the data we've collected. The amazing thing is that every atom in your body came from a star that exploded. And the atoms in your left hand probably came from a different star than your right hand. It really is the most poetic thing I know about physics. You are all stardust. You couldn't be here if stars hadn't exploded because the elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron, all the things that matter for evolution weren't created at the beginning of time. They're created in the nuclear furnaces of stars and the only way they can get into your body is if the stars were kind enough to explode. So forget Jesus, the stars died so that you could be here today, okay? And, and anyway. On October 9th, 2022, astronomers detected the brightest gamma ray burst of all time and thought this would be a great testing ground to see whether heavy elements were produced in the aftermath of this event or not. Using JWST data, a collaboration of some two dozen astronomers determined that the answer quite definitely is no. Supernovas do not create heavy elements. Science has no idea where gold came from. It's just here. Science also has no idea where galaxies came from. They have no idea how galaxies form. JWST's newfound galaxies are the oldest ever seen. We know that the first galaxies in our universe formed shockingly fast, thanks to the latest results from the James Webb Space Telescope. They looked back into the past to the beginning of the universe. From a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. And they found fully formed massive galaxies. We now know for certain we are probing an area of the universe no human has ever laid eyes on before. It's astonishing, says Peter Van Dockum of Yale University. You go from nothing to these fully formed galaxies in the blink of an eye. Did these galaxies just poof into existence? Maybe. Science has no idea how the universe formed, how galaxies formed, how the Earth formed, how gold and uranium formed. It's just all here. Like spawning into Minecraft the first time you play the game. Everything you need to survive is programmed into the game. Trees, rocks, animals, coal, gold. Humans just spawned into existence and started going, hey, how did we get here? What are we doing here? Ooh, what does this do? I need that. It's just all here. And at this very moment, all of the ideas that science had to explain all of this happening through natural processes appears to be wrong. It was a creation myth. I have no idea. Humanity is suffering from amnesia. The more we learn, the more we discover how little we really know. What an exciting time to be alive. <laughs>